Hello, it's uh, Harry here. So I want to make a video about how to use R Shining app to create the tables, listings, and the figures for clinical studies. A lot of people know that you can use R Shining app to create figures, so you can actually create tables and listings as well. So I'm going to show that in this video. So in the screen, I put down some uh, bulletin points. Uh, we're going to go through these uh, bulletin points one by one. Before we do that, I want to show an R Shining app I recently uh, created. So let's go to R Studio. Okay, I'm going to run the app. Okay, so in this app, on the left, you get some tabs. You have demographics, adverse events, lab data, and efficacy. If you click on each of them, you will get some horizontal tabs. So for the demographics, I have a table here. So in this table, you get the descriptive statistics for some numerical variables. And you get the count and the percentage for some character variables. OK, and we have a listing for the data. And we have a pie chart. So in this pie chart, you can see the different categories for some uh, categorical variable. Uh, in this case, it's race. If you select another variable, you get a different pie chart. Now let's go to the adverse event. So here we have a table. So in this table, you have the system organ class in light degree. And you have the preferred term in white. And you have three treatment columns here. And you also have a listing for the AE data. For the lab data, we have a shift table. So in this shift table, you have the baseline grid here. And you have the most severe post baseline grid here. Uh, you have a listing for the lab data as well. And you have a box plot. So in the box plot, uh, you have a radio button here. If you select different parameters, you get a different uh, plot. Finally, if you click on the efficacy, you get the waterfall plot and the spider plot. If you have worked on the oncology studies, you know what these figures are for. So in the waterfall plot, we have options uh, to choose different cohort uh, with the radio buttons. If you do that, you get a different plot. Similarly, in the spider plot, you can select different cohorts and you get different plot. Okay, so that's a, a simple app. So let's go back to those um, uh, bulletin points. Okay, first the item is understand the UI and the server. So in order to create our shiny apps, uh, basically you need two a big block of codes. The first block is UI, and the second one is server. So if we go back to the program here, okay, do you want to terminate R now? Yes. Okay, so, okay, so here we have the program. Uh, so first I have all this library calls. Right after that, I have the UI. So basically, this part controls how the app behaves, how it looks like. And the second part is, is the server. So in the server, you have to provide all the, all the codes for the tables and the figures. And after that, you just have uh, this shiny app, UI equals UI, server equals server. So that's the basic structure of uh, our shiny app uh, program. Okay, the second uh, bulletin point design the UI. So in the in the app that I just showed, you see those uh, horizontal tabs, you see those vertical tabs, and you see the drop down menu, radio buttons. So that's all part of the UI. So um, you can design some really fancy. Uh, stuff in the UI, but the goal is uh, uh, to present the information uh, effectively to the user of the app. So I want to uh, go to the program, 
just as an example to show how to create those uh, horizontal tabs and the vertical tabs. So let's go to the program. Okay, so we're using a shiny dashboard here. Um, the sidebar menu. So this is the part where we create all those uh, uh, hor uh, tabs, the vertical tabs on the left. Uh, so you have the demographics, adverse events here. And for each item, we have a tab name. And under the tab names, we have to use a tab panel to pro provide those horizontal tabs. So here I'm doing the tables listing and pie chart for the demographics. And similarly, uh, you have all those code for, for the adverse events, and so on and so forth. OK, so go back to the bulletin points. The next one, um, learn the R programming for creating tables and figures. So here um, uh, is where all the hard work is. Uh, you really have to learn the R programming. There's no way to get around this. So you have to know how to select records from a data frame, how to select columns from a data frame, how to merge two data frames. And for the figures, you have to learn how to use the ggplot2. OK, uh, next uh, bulletin point, uh, reactive programming. I think this is a great feature of the R Shiny app. I want to um, give a uh, an example for this. So let's go back to the program. Uh, let's go down to the figure part. Okay, um, it's uh, right here. Here I'm doing the waterfall plot. And uh, in the waterfall plot, I had a radio button for the user to select cohorts. And that's where I use it. This one, input the dollar cohort. So this is the, the value that the user selected. I'm using this as a condition to get a subset of the tumor data and I put it into data input. And in the code below this part, this part I use data input parentheses to refer to that data frame. So this is just a, a simple example of the reactive uh, programming. OK, um, finally, I want to mention the render table, render GT, render plot. So after you uh, finish creating the tables and, and the figures, you can use this render table or render plot, render GT to present them. So if we go back to the program, uh, let's see, it's right here. So you can see I'm using the render GT to present the demographics table. I'm using the render table to create the demographics listing. And uh, I'm using the render plot to create a figure for the demographics. OK, that's, uh, that's all I want to present in this video. Um, so if you are interested in this, you need to spend time, uh, learn how to do all the R programming, learn to how to set up uh, the, those basic structure of an R Shiny app. I hope you find this uh, uh, helpful. So if you find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. Thank you.